Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the World of Wheels in Rosemont, Illinois. Come on out, it's a great show. You'll see some amazing cars. Amazing? I'm with Ross. Ross, what's your last name? Gregory. Ross Gregory, and you build cars. Yes. And this car that we're looking at is a what year car? It's a 1968 Shelby. Kind of. Kind of. It's got a few little touches to it. Let me grab the camera. Okay. So your owners of this car live local, and they came to you. Let's actually walk over this way yeah. for just a minute. So there's a little story to this Shelby, and the story to this Shelby is the owners ended up getting this iconic Shelby right close to your garage. Correct. It was, uh, you know, in 1968, the Shelbys were sent to Ionia to yeah. be built, and uh, our shop, ironically, is in Ionia, three miles from where this car was originally built in 68, and it's 50 years later that we're unveiling it for the owner, who lives in Bloomington, Illinois. Come on there next to me. Okay. Come on right yep. next to me so I can show the car. Yep. So tell me what we've done to this Shelby GT350. Well, Dan, our owner, his his big thing was he, he wanted a Shelby GT350. He wanted it to... to act like a new car and drive kind of like a new car but he really wanted to keep the the iconic shelby lines to it so the outside of the car we really didn't modify a whole lot he wanted to keep it looking stock so everything else has pretty much been modified it has a roadster shop front end underneath it uh detroit speed um, full show, frame show rails show me that light show me that light how you do oh, with the paint yeah so it's a brightened wimbledon white but Correct. let's take a look can you see the speckles Yep. Yeah, I might do that. There we go. There we go. Yes, and then we put See a... The speckles uh, in there. It's got the blue specks. Yep. Blue pearl tri-coat on top of the, like you say, the bright wind with the white. Yeah. And then uh, Evod made some one-off wheels for it. Um, he wanted them to look like the, you know, the original Shelby wheels, but a, but a new style wheel. A lot larger in the back, of course. And uh, with the larger tires in the back, became a lot of problems for us. We, we ended up mini-tubbing it, but he wanted that iconic rear seat to still fold down and function. So that created a lot of uh, a lot of troubles on the interior, as you can imagine. Each side, each of these side panels here had to be, you know, had to be made three inches bigger, and then we ended up taking six inches out of all that seat mechanism and the, the whole thing, so it still folds down and, and still functions properly. And look at the interior. Who, who a man built? named John Wagner out of Custom Canvas and Leather did the interior work for us. Just a super talented man. We can kick the. Uh, lights on here if you want so you can see a little bit there so we've got the best of the old yep classic instruments and the, the best of the new and now go ahead you know, like, i don't know if you notice the snakeskin leather you know kind of trims out in a few spots what? and then on the door handles and then the center console both all have the snakeskin leather to them oh my goodness. and the grommet feel like he kind of wanted that gt40 feel to it and uh, i think he captured it pretty good it's actually a 1970 dash that we took and modified so it would come down in the centers and meet the console like we wanted. And, uh, and you've got an instrument panel here. Yes, that uh, that radio is an amazing thing in itself. So that radio has uh, has GPS navigation in it, has satellite radio, front and rear backup cameras. Um, car sits so low we wanted him to have a front camera so when he goes to park it he can see his balance. And, and so we didn't have to fix it again. <laughs> That's amazing. And the wheel, I just want to... Yeah. Well, now that we have the... Turn that that way, so you can see that wheel. That's... That's beautiful. Well, the tail lights are on. We see... We didn't like the... Uh, we didn't like the original marker lights that oh, front no. came from, from Ford, so we had these built. Uh, Dan Minicky built them for us, so this is all custom machine. If you look closely underneath the red reflector outside, we have that snakeskin pattern milled in them right there, underneath that. Also, a little more light. See oh, yeah. yeah. So the snakeskin outside, you actually see that snakeskin pattern around there. And then the Shelby lights yeah. up with the tail lights at night. That's, and let me just show these rims. These rims are striking. Where did you find these rims or these custom built? They are custom built from Evod out in California. Yeah, Let me take a look at the back before you open yep. it. Do we have the sequential tail lights? Yes. Would you like to see it? Oh, uh, sure. Yep. Perfect. All right. 
Let's shut the uh, lights off for just a second. That's beautiful how you put the cup. Uh, uh, Cheryl Kelby, <laughs> Carol Shelby colors in this. I'm trying to see. Yeah. That is great. You know, the trunk it's area, great. we just wanted to keep clean. You know, we added a few panels to make it a little larger. Um, and then John added, you know, we never have too many fire extinguishers and a small tool bag for the road. This car is actually going to be driven. Um, it's going on the hot rod power tour in June for the 1300 mile trip. So it needed to be, you know, look nice and be functional. Let's uh, take a look under the hood. Okay. We can shut that in the back. Right. Let me just feature that. That's a little. Is this a little different Cobra emblem nope, as well? That's actually a stock one. Yep. All right, that's stock. Yes. Right. Look at the much tighter rims here. Obviously, loads of stopping power. Yes. Underneath the hood, we just wanted to keep things clean. As of course, you'll notice it has no shock towers. Come on, look well, at this thing. It's, it's clean, right? No, it's wonderful. Yeah. So the shock towers are gone wait, with the roadster shock. Who puts this together like this with the velocity stacks? Where's this idea come this from? This is this is a fast unit. Um, okay. It's a fast unit. It's electronic fuel injection, which is quite nice, which created a lot of issues, hide, keeping the wires hid and clean for all that kind of a, a mess. But. Uh, we fell in love with the with the blue look, with the flat and clear. Oh yeah, just this is uh, great. looks like an anodized finished almost, and uh, got the custom hinges from the Ring Brothers, um, Ring Brother hinges, nice. Yeah. And then uh, Dan didn't want to see the, you know, from the Mustangs. You always had the up here. You could see yeah, the you horns see and everything. He didn't want to see that, so we ended up custom built this thing. And then we sure like the looks of the grills here, but we we kind of ran into an issue. We still have to have a hood latch, so. We come up with an idea, so we put this on a spring hinge, so when the hood comes down, the hood latch will push it down, but then as soon as you open the hood, you don't know that, and we just have our grills back up there. Where does your mind think of this stuff? Just lucky. I got great guys that work with me that come up with great ideas, and we just, uh, you know, it's kind of evolves through everything. That's an amazing idea. Very, very good. Well, we, we got double, sh we got double uh, shock towers, too? What am I saying here? Yeah, them are just A-arms coming through there. Yep, yep. The original shock towers are gone now. It's a Roadster shop front end, like I said. And uh, we custom made the valve covers. We kind of took that snakeskin design to them. Um, and then we had the breathers custom made and machines for the Shelby on top. Just to, just to kind of clean things up and keep it looking nice. Looks really, really solid. And I just want to show something, too, is we've got these foot pins yeah. that you press on them and it pops the hood, which is a real nice touch versus it used to actually not fit so well when you kind of twist them over and they pop up. They were up. miserable. They yeah. were miserable. Yes. Look at the wonderful bullet mirrors. I just want to show these as well. It looks like you put custom grills in there too. Yes, we did them so we matched the, the grill work in the front of the car if we wanted them all to kind of match. What else What else do I need to know? Looking, let's shut that trunk if you would, please. Underneath the car is actually as detailed as, as the top side. Um, it's got custom built, and custom built all stainless exhaust. It's uh, all polished the whole way back. And the blue, the blue on all the suspension pieces comes back, and uh, just a uh, real clean, neat look. While I'm here, let's uh, let me let's let me see it start. I'll come to the back. We'll just let it idle for a second, and then we'll give it, you know, we'll give it one rev.
made 550 horse on the dyno, so it should be a real nice driver, a lot of fun. It's um, got a little sound to it, almost like it's got a supercharger. Yeah, yeah. What, what's that sound? Just the wire. I don't know how it sounds that way. It does. You're going to hear it in the video. You can hear it under the hood. You can hear it sucking air in there. Yeah, Crazy. yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then one more thing on the interior. Yeah, please. We didn't like any seat belts that we could buy. We wanted some upgraded stuff, so we ended up having these the special Shelby one, you know, put on top of them. So mm -hmm. it just makes it look a little bit more authentic. And then anything else we missed on this amazing build, even um, that, that Shelby there on the hand head wrap, yep. or armrest. Yep. The rear view mirror is actually a neat piece. It's hard to see. Um, the Gentex Corporation actually, who makes just about all mirrors for all domestic cars, uh, they made a special piece for us that uh, if you don't know if you can see it, but it's all. And you see the back side of it, it's all carbon fiber and, and, and aluminum and it's a special, really kind of a special piece, but you don't see it until you're outside looking through the window too much. Oh, but we're, gonna, we're seeing it right I, now. But yeah. it was really a neat piece. We, we owe them guys a lot. Well, Ross, come on up for a second. Yep. First of all, if people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you can see all the cars. Ross, what an amazing build. What a fun time hanging out with you. A great car. Thank Dan for being the owner for sharing his car and letting you build it for us. Thanks for being on my car store. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.